I've never docked this boat in 25 knots before. So I'm super nervous. Fingers crossed everything goes well. Hey, is there an e exit that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Irma here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Today, I've spoken to two of our patrons. We got two patrons and their wives coming, so four people. It's gonna be 11 crew <laughs> in four cabins. Uh, we'll make it work. And then tomorrow morning, I think at 4.30, we're gonna start the transit. If you're gonna to come to the Panama Canal, uh, you have an option to either try to do it all yourself, all the organization, or use an agent. We've done it four times now. We've used three different agents and we have found that the best guy, his name is Rogelio, or he goes by Roger, and he charges $350, but it includes everything. He does all the paperwork, he organizes the, um, the measurer to come, um, everything. He gives you lines and fenders. It's all just handed to you on a plate. You just have to literally turn up, get measured, and then uh, come back for your canal date. So for $350, you guys can make up your own mind. I think if you do it yourself, it's around $200 anyway. So for an extra $150, you don't have to waste two days of your life going into Cologne, um, organizing all of that stuff. Anyway, trying to organize a slip in the marina so we can go in and collect those lines and fenders um, and the Patreons and do laundry and all of the stuff that we need to do. Big day. Okay, we just got a, uh, a slip from Juan Jose. Thank you so much. But it's blowing 25 knots out here. And I've got to go into this marina and go down one of the channels and back into this slip in 25 knots. I've never docked this boat in 25 knots before. So I'm super nervous um, because I know how tight it is in there. So fingers crossed everything goes well. Nervous about this. The, the Lagoon 450 has so much windage. We've got such a high freeboard. Plus, we've added all of this. It's just uh, as soon as the wind gets on on the beam, the boat just flies. All hands on deck, baby. We do not want to end up like one of those guys over there. We're in literally the hardest spot to park, especially in the wind. All the way in, it's the last one up front. We're just feet away from having to do months of fiberglass work. One hole. Okay? How are you, man? We'll do. Welcome back. Are you around tonight? We'll have to have a beer. Good to see you, man. Welcome, my friend. Take Thanks care. Thanks for having us. How's it going? Good. Good morning. <laughs> so, I wanted the, one of the Patreon couples that are coming on. So we just got to get this boat organized, hose it all down, clean it all. Because we got so smashed yesterday, shit went flying everywhere. So we'll get them on at like 11 o'clock. You excited? Super excited. <laughs> How do you guys made it? All right, we're about to close down the final chapter of this bulkhead drama. Colin's gonna put on this last bit of trim with permanent glue this time. There's no way we need to see in here again. So, here she goes. Hello, mate. Good, Vince. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. 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 Got the bike, man. All good? All good. You made it, huh? That didn't tip over yesterday on you? <laughs> Welcome on board. All right, we got all the Patreons that are crossing the canal with us aboard. Just been hanging out. And uh, we're gonna do dinner now. Dinner at this marina. So this marina, nothing like Linton Bay, all right? There's an enclosed five-star restaurant here. The other Patreon winners, Evan and Britt, arrived just before dinner. 
so we all went out to the restaurant to get to know each other a little bit better. This crazy dude wants to go to some abandoned prison in Panama. Why would you want to go to prison voluntarily, dude? I saw like <laughs> trails of bugs going across the road. Spiders <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. There's definitely a puma out there. I thought we were talking, I thought we were talking about a prison. <laughs> what are you talking about a puma? They live in the prison, I think. We checked it out today. <laughs> what did you see? I mean, the they were monkeys. There's a chance. There's a chance. You have to. Admit. They were monkeys. We saw loads of monkeys, but we heard something very, something different that definitely wasn't the monkey. Well, I want to go explore this place in the middle of the night with headlamps. I do have a really bright flashlight that I've been meaning to try out. Are we doing this? Let's do it. I'll do it. Uh, I'm, I'm not in. I'm not going to some haunted prison. You guys are crazy. Yeah. We're going to this. Uh, we're going to this haunted something. Something. Prison? Oh shit, there's something on your face! What is that thing? <laughs> I'm doing some recon real quick. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, that looks scary. Look at how far it goes. And there's tunnels in the back of it that go and connect everything. Lindo, you're gonna keep us safe or what, buddy? There's 11 of us going and probably less coming back. Tom, what's up with your shoes, buddy? Apparently there's big ants and spiders, so I just... The right thing, yeah. I'm scared of the ants. No, no, I'm scared of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is just the beginning. Well, what is that? Don't go into the church. Oh, it looks creepy as hell to me. <laughs> oh, fuck, this is creepy. Ew. Oh, nowadays. <laughs> this is scary. I don't like it. What the hell is that? Why does that thing keep on moving? Why the hell does that thing keep on moving? Hey, you got another floor to explore. Go. Come on. See, no one is touching that thing. It's moving. It's still moving. Okay, that was all right. That wasn't too too crazy, except for that that light socket that was just moving in the middle of the church. That was kind of creepy as hell. They all went to bed. Apparently, there were a bunch of ants that were crawling. And Daza Daza thinks they went to bed because you know that's what ants do. They go to bed at night in their tiny little covers. Yeah, All right. I regret this. <laughs> no, the marina manager did say this place was haunted. There was a there was a family of indigenous people living here and one of them murdered the entire family and then he escaped. So the legend has it that the family the still family haunts this place. still here trying to tell us the story. What's in there? What? Okay, so there's there's big animal shit in there. Thank you. If you're holding me. <laughs> oh, wow, it goes down for really far. What are we looking at? No, come back here. This is where they used no, to run know. the sheep. Hey, give me a little light in here. Oh, that's creepy. All right, this is this is really freaking dumb. Come on, you guys, let's go. Hey, Jamie. This is fucking crazy. Oh, fucking cockroach! Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit! It's just a fucking... I keep seeing some bones. Why are we going straight? Why are we keep on... Why are we continuing? Can we go out? No. <laughs> we're fucking... We're committed now. <laughs> Wait, but Fly doesn't want to go any further. Hey, hey, look at this behind you. Look at that, let's see. Oh shit! <laughs> it's right there on the wall. Point the light at it. What <laughs> kind of insect is that? Hey, is there an exit that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go! That spider was so ridiculous. We can't abandon him. Come on. All right, they went down this way. I don't see. Hey, you guys down there? Yeah. What's down there? Any tips? I can hear them echoing through the hallway. I have no idea how far they are. I can't see their light anymore, but they're down there. Why does that just turn like that? <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? Don't, don't, don't laugh like that. Come on, let's go, let's go, I got you. It's really good for us to walk faster because there may be spiders on the walls. No, I don't like this, no. Hey, how far down are you guys? No, no, no. There's no. <laughs> nothing. nothing behind us. There's, we have nowhere else to go. Yeah, let's go. There's only one. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Tom, so Colin, Colin went that way somewhere. We don't see him. Everybody else is behind us somewhere in another room. Um, can't really see where I'm going. 
Okay, okay, now I know why you wore shoes. I wish I wore shoes. No, no, Linda's scared, Linda's scared. You just shut up. Okay, there, there's a dog. Okay, oh my god, oh my god. We made it up. I think we're okay. I see you now. I see you fucking. <laughs> 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 oh my god! 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 Oh my so, uh, Parlay patrons, uh, this is what you get to do if uh, you win. How's your experience so far? Great. A little spooky. Good. We're gonna go sing in the church like a choir. That was Colin's idea. Well, I heard there was a secret call. David played and he pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? And it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fourth, the major lift, the minor king, the body, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So Rogelio has just turned up. He's the agent who organized everything for us. So he's got the uh, lines and fenders and everything. And we'll get him on the boat. Hey man. How you doing man? Cool, cool. Got, got your balls? <laughs> yeah. Got a few eggs for balls. <laughs> We're leaving. Yes! We're leaving right now to go cross the Panama Canal. Epic, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, Stuart. Come on home. Calling. Pleasure Thank you as so always. Much for everything, man. Just leave. Really cross. Appreciate enjoy it. the Pacific and see you in another port for sure. <laughs> we'll see you when we do our circumnavigation. I'll be around. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah. We'll miss you. We'll miss you too. Our first step is for us to get this boat out into the entry of the canal where we actually anchored the first night we were here. This is it. This is our last few hours in the Caribbean where Pale has been for most of its life. Pretty cool. By this time tomorrow we'll be in the Pacific Ocean and then we'll make a plan from there. So it's going to be a two-day trip. We're going to do half of it today, half of it tomorrow. We'll sleep on the lake, anchor on the lake in between uh, overnight. So yeah, they wanted us to come out here a little bit early. Technically we're getting the advisor at 2.30, so it's quarter past now. Game on. Then we're at his disposal. He'll tell us to go fast, slow, up, down, left, right, and uh, he'll guide us through the canal. So it's a really, really interesting process, and a lot of these guys have done it for years, decades, some of them. So you always learn something new each time you go through, so I'm excited. All right, our Panama Canal advisor is here. We're all donning masks because we don't want to piss off the guy we really want to be able to fly a drone while we're crossing the canal, so I'm going to try to get on his good side and have him help us. Grab his hands off. Would you want me to Oh, no, 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 no. If you save that hat, we're golden. Okay, don't worry. You sure? All right, our first chance to prove our worthiness. We're going to save his hat. Those guys. bridge we cross that enters the Panama Canal. I can see the locks in front of us. This is just amazing. Look at that. We were excited to be one of around 40 boats to transit the Panama Canal that day, which is an average of 12 to 15,000 vessels per year, which is a mind-blowing number. I'm gonna make the same knot, this bowling knot in our loop. Not so tight because they need to release it in, uh, fast, okay? If you see me running, you run. Okay, we That's run. 
Alright, we're passing our first container ship. This sucker is huge! Look at that! And it's probably a small one! This canal, it's what makes the world go round. We're getting to see it up close. Alright, we're about to come up to the first locks, the Gatun locks. We're going minimum speed. There's a big container ship in front of us that we're going to be going in the locks with. And uh, we'll get through these locks and then we'll be anchoring in the lake overnight. Just saw some crocodiles. So this is round four, baby. <laughs> what do you think, Dad? He's too excited. I was texting a picture of me driving. <laughs> How many meters up is this going to take us? The average is about 85 feet. Could be about 28 meters. Thank you. Uh, but that depends on the season. The rainy season is a bigger distance, you know, yeah, because the water, lake yeah. is uh, uh, at the upper level. Highest level. Uh, that was cute. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, we're about to enter. They're gonna throw us the lines on the starboard side first. They're gonna throw the lines towards the bow. Okay, close enough. Close enough, not too close, not too close. Okay, hold the line, hold the blue line. When I saw you said it, okay? That was sick! <laughs> Alright guys, we are at the first lock. Uh, so these guys just threw over some massive, actually not massive, just really long and heavy balls connected to lines. We connect those lines onto these lines right here, the massive blue dock lines. They drag it back over and they're able to control us and our position within this lock from the wall. This is pretty crazy behind those doors. It's the Caribbean. We're not going to be seeing it again for a very, very long time. Behind us is the lake, behind that is the Pacific Ocean. So, what an incredible moment for Parlay, again, going through the Panama Canal. This thing is just one of the wonders of the world. It is just such a marvel. Love it. Oh my God, this is so cool. It's a dream to go through the canal. So Colleen's crushing it right now. They threw the lines down up there to her. She's got it locked, actually not locked off. They said figure eight right now. We're not gonna lock it off. We might need to make adjustments. As they, as they start pumping this water up, we're just gonna shift all around, come up, and then we have to continue to tighten these lines um, on both sides so that we don't crash into one of the walls. Uh, but we have a lot of room because it's just us. Typically there's like three boats. For us, it's just one. So we got, I don't know, what is that? 60 feet, 50 feet on each side. Is this crazy or what, Tom? It's pretty crazy. Is it crazy? I'm really excited, as you can tell. But here, let's go up to the top. I'm going to show you these doors. They're actually inset into the wall. They kind of form a big arc, which makes sense. They've got to hold all the pressure, the weight of the water, and it's happening. I just saw it happen, okay? All the weight of the water getting pumped up right now, you can actually see it happening. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh, look at those. Those are the trains that ride along these walls that move the container ships. Look at all this turbulence behind them. A lot of turbulence, look at that. It's just pumping so much water into this lock to get us up. He said we're going up 85 feet in total up to the lake, so what an incredible experience. Down there, about 25 feet below us, Caribbean. We just came up all of this way. So he just said to me, how many how many pumps do you think he got me good? He said, how many pumps do you think it, it takes to pump these uh, chambers up? Obviously there's none. It's just all gravity fed from the lake. All of that water just rushing in lifts these boats up and it all ends up going out there out to sea. All right, just filled the first chamber. This ship in front of us is about to move ahead. We've got to hold on to our line, lines nice and strong because there's going to be a lot of prop wash coming back at us. And then we will move forward and go into the next chamber. Three chambers in this one lock. There's almost too much going on right now for me to really be that present right now. But I'm just taking a moment looking back at the Caribbean and thinking about all of the incredible memories that we've had out there. Four years in this ocean. Kind of sad, but some exciting stuff up ahead. Just so nuts. Now there's another ship behind us. He's about to come into the lock as we leave this chamber. It's just this machine just works around the clock, just going pumping boats through. 
so much money, so much energy, so much manpower to make all of this work. It's fucking amazing. Can? Yeah. We're pretty busy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, they're about to drop the lines. Once they drop the lines, I've still got all this water rushing towards me. I'm so glad we're doing this alone. They sometimes put a nest of three boats together and coming in here at 22 knots straight up the ass. So I was in reverse the whole time just trying to control us not to just ram into that container ship in front of us. Yeah, glad we're doing this alone. Alrighty guys, we just came another 25, 28 feet above Sea Lieville, Caribbean down there. Still behind the same container ship. So much going on right now. Second chamber. Once we get through, got one more and we'll be in the Gatun Lakes. How you doing back here? Good, I'm doing good. They're just about to release the lines now again. How's it going back there, Vince? Awesome. Loving it? Loving it. What an experience, huh? Yeah, now we're experience of my life. <laughs> I love cool it. Places, but having yeah. stuff like this. Unreal, eh? Oh, man. You. Big Evan. You taking control up here? Good stuff. Loving Everything, it. Everything's all under control? You manning this line? Try my best. No one's yelled at me yet. So, you know, <laughs> that's all that matters. The cap is repositioning us so we can be centered. Moises, you think we're crazy, huh? Because you see this every single day. No. <laughs> You see it two times a day, so for you this is totally no, but, normal. But it's still amazing for me. Yeah? I still love it and oh, I'm it's, still learning. It's... Just think about how much water has to be pumped to fill this whole area at an inch a second. Jamie's favorite number, we're about to reach it. There we go, Jamie. It's on. All right, we're about to hit 70. So it's hey. 70 feet now. Hey. This cable can tow uh, 35 tons of press. 35. So this mule or locomotive, we call it mule here. Uh, can tow 70 tons of press. Woo we had finished transiting the locks for that day and we were one step closer to being in the Pacific Ocean. It was amazing to be able to share this experience with our Patreons and it made our transit even more exciting to see the enjoyment on their faces. We're about to uh, Collect the mooring. We're in the Gatun Lakes. Okay. We're gonna pick up that mooring there. It's just got a little T on it. That's what you're helping. Oh, what a throw! What a throw! <laughs> got one line coming from the bow. Back to midships. From the stern, back to midships, and we're just getting held off by the wind. There we go, guys. We made it. We're in the Gatun Lakes. We're anchored, we're the only ones here. We Luckily we got to do the whole thing on our own. It was just such a nice experience. The sun's about to go down. There's still container ship. This place does not still eat. Just non-stop. And uh, tomorrow morning we'll pick up again and we've got two more locks to do tomorrow. And then they think we'll be at the marina by about four o'clock. So we'll take you with us. Hope you enjoyed today. We had a blast. The boys are cooking some food. This is mid canal. Shepherd's pod. How many in there today? Be honest. Not that many, only about six. Oh, that's a world record. <laughs> okay, seven thirty. Uh, uh, seven uh, from seven to eight, more so, or less. So, are they going to radio us, or we just stand? No, by I will or? be coming in the lunch, and the lunch will harm us. Don't so worry. We, we're just ready to Don't go. Don't worry seven. if you're sleeping. <laughs> I will watch you.